there's a fish. Welcome back to another Fish Tales episode. Today I'll be documenting Salmon Arama 2021. And as you can see, I got the kayak loaded with just about everything I could imagine wanting to take with me on Lake Michigan on a beautiful day, as you can see. So we're hoping to hook up. King Salmon is what we're after. We'll take whatever to get on the scoreboard, maybe a lake trout, maybe brown trout, maybe coho, whatever it takes. But uh, last year I got fourth place on my first year, just kind of sticking around the harbor, sticking close to shore, and hoping uh, with some downriggers added and some lead core line and some musky mic flies and everything else that a salmon might want, maybe I can place a little higher. So let's go get them. We got ourselves a foggy morning here. We got two downriggers and a Nishini crankbait here just flatlining behind for some top 20 feet fish that might be hungry. And on the downriggers have the musky mike trolling flies, seven inch and a five inch on this side, blueback herring pattern. And it is so foggy, I can't even see the shore. I just barely can see the power plant in Port Washington. Let's start getting some action here. It's been two and a half hours of nothing. Hopefully that changes. Finally, a nice pot of bait fish right below my downrigger. Just a couple feet, right where you want it to be. Let's hook up. About to bring this salmon fly right over their heads. So far we got bait fish, but we got a couple. There's an arc right there, right behind it. Come on now. And that's the rod we're hoping for. It should be right above their heads right about now. Oh, there we go. Something just smashed that Nishini crankbait on the planer board. Wow. I don't know if it broke it off or what. Well, I got the planer board off and the Sheeny crankbait is got some teeth marks in it. All right, let's get back at it. Made it out to 150 feet of water, but we got a kayaker right next to me battling something big. And boy, I wish I could be him right now. Is it gonna make the leaderboard? Oh. <laughs> Will it make the grill? Well, that's about it. <laughs> the board. There you go. Got the skunk out of the boat. Mine still stinks. Here we go. There's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, don't say he got off. Yeah, he is off. Well, some action there. Trying to figure out what the bite is. That was on a Nishini deep diving crankbait, only about 10 to 12 feet down at the time. Let's get back at it. Well, we were out there a couple miles out and it was getting a little choppy, so came back in here to the harbor and seeing a little bait with this west wind and hoping that there's some fish that might take some shallower presentations or even a jigging spoon so let's go at it got one Got one and 
Oh, we hit the jig and spoon and we got ourselves a little, and there he is, little coho, gone. About a half a pound. All right, now let's add about 10 to 15 pounds of that and we're in good shape. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. We got ourselves a fish here. I think it's fighting like a lake trout though. It hasn't taken a big run. Let's see. Or a brown trout. That's my guess. He's big though. He's a good one. He's coming to the surface here. There he is. What are we dealing with? All right, ooh, that is a nice looking fish. Oh, is that a, that is a big king, I think. That's a big king. Here we go, here we go. Get in. Oh, we got him. We got him. Woo -hoo! Oh, that's that's a big one. And there's the king right in the net, right where you want him to be after a nice five minute fight. Flash or fly setup, 130 feet of water. Hit that probably down about 110 feet. Oh boy, he fought like a just kind of a logy brown trout, lake trout, didn't really take any huge runs just sort of was lazy but um that's okay i'll take them that way let's see what he goes my guess yeah i don't know 15 pounds maybe goes more let's see oh he's fatter than i thought oh. uh. and he goes what do we got here maybe 16 17 pounds <laughs> oh and there he is let's just not drop him in the water nice king awesome awesome fish that is fun that is what i came out here for one last look at him before we get him in the cooler there he is Ugh. that's it he fits he fits <laughs> First time using the new cooler and it fits a 17 pound salmon. Musky Mike trolling flies, these things. Those are that, those are sweet. Yeah, these are. The hair jig ones? Yeah, like, yep, the trolling flies he ties, like, does them on hair jigs too. And I'll definitely do Oh, you're the fish tails guy. Okay, I, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I'm definitely new to the uh, Lake Michigan stuff. Pretty much, this is my second time out doing Lake Michigan oh, thing. So, yeah, nice talking with you. Yeah, good luck if you get out again. Okay. Thanks for doing that. Back one, 16.24, Justin, Fishtail Olsen.